I'll come with a more technical presentation here. It's called tail call, tail call optimization. Uh, it's uh, optimization you use when you try to use a problem using recursion. And before uh, jumping to tail call optimization, I'll start with a short definition of recursion. Well, maybe as many of you know, recursion is a method uh, of solving problems based on divide and, divide and conquer. Basically, you split your problem in smaller problems with, to a problem you can solve very easy. Uh, usually, you call the same function. Then you go back and uh, assemble your final uh, answer, uh, final solution to that. Okay, uh, in order to make this, I don't know, a bit more um, easy to understand, I'll take an example. Uh, everybody in here knows what is Fibonacci sequence? Okay, well, as you can see, it's quite a, I don't know, odd uh, sequence of numbers with uh, one simple rule. Uh, the current uh, number is equal to the sum of previous two, one, two ones, uh, with one small condition, the first two numbers from the sequence are one. Okay, if we will make a small uh, script to solve this uh, based on the easiest way you can go with recursion, the code will, we will like we will look like this. Uh, you, as long as you have a value bigger than one or zero, you will return the um, sum of previous two uh, values. Otherwise, you return one. If you will uh, try to um, show the result of uh, passing 10 as parameter to this function, we'll get 89. Okay. Well, where is the problem here? If you'll skip the uh, low-level uh, details such as uh, allocating stack frames for each uh, call you make for that function and uh, how kernel does it and so on and so forth, uh, we can reduce the problem to this simple one where you can see you, can, you will um, uh, solve the same problem for many, many times. You'll um, try to figure out what the value is for uh, the current index minus 2, for current index minus 3, so on and so forth. So to the end you'll have to uh, solve the same problem for, I don't know, maybe million times if your if your value is high enough. So, uh, in order to make a small optimization here, you can go with tail recursion optimization, uh, tail color optimization, sorry. Where you, where you uh, basically do is try to avoid this thing, to build a, I don't know, huge tree with uh, call uh, functions. Um, and I don't know, maybe the simplest way to present to you is to show the code. Um, all you do to change is to keep your current and your next sort of next uh, value uh, try to calculate in your uh, parameters for the for that function. Really. Uh, so as long as your index is higher than zero, you'll just try to recalculate that uh, value, your next and current value, and then when you reach the value of zero, you just simply return that uh, uh, you'll simply return the current uh, term, and you'll get the um, solution you are expecting. So here, if I uh, just call that function with 10, which is the uh, term I'm looking for, and the first two uh, terms of Fibonacci sequence, I'll get LT9. Well, um, if you don't have any questions until now, 
I'll skip to the live coding demo. No, nothing? Okay. I will, but when Okay. I wrote this in two different languages. First, uh, I wrote it in JavaScript and I had some limitations. I will show you after this. Second well, task. Yeah? Second yeah, the second one is Haskell. Um, so, before I will run, I will show you the code. This is the first uh, way you can solve the problem. Uh, it's mostly uh, stack recursion when you, uh, you when you place everything in your stack on your computer uh, and you'll see that after some iterations this will be begin to be slower way 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 too much slower so if I try to compute the 10th uh, term of Fibonacci I'll get almost instantly result for 10th the 20th almost the same 30 still quite fast if I'll jump to 40 well I had to wait 2.5 seconds to get the result and I'll, and if I'll just um, uh, change the value to 41 the result will be way way much uh, longer to appear. Now let's uh, change to tail recursion. When the code is the same as showed you previously in the presentation, and if I'll uh, skip to the first 15 uh, uh, terms, okay, 40. It was in instantly. Let's go to 100, still instantly. 1000, well, it's not a human readable value, but, but because if uh, this code is right in JavaScript, if I go to 1500, 1, uh, the result will be infinite. This is why I also wrote a code in Haskell. Uh, to show you that the, co the code here is much simpler. Um, to show that the stack version also works here, I will uh, run it. Can you increase the font size? Yeah, sure. If I call uh, fib 10 almost instantly, 20 almost instantly here at 30 it's already it's already begin to be slower so it's slower than javascript yeah sometimes um, this case, no this one no but let me change to the stake called optimized what? I'll try to um, solve the 100 element. I'll get an instant. Uh, so this is faster than JavaScript. Yeah, this one is quite faster. Yeah, it's and it also has no limitations. So I can just simply multiply my term with 10 and just get the result, as you can see. Uh, yeah, when I'll reach uh, 100,000, it will become slower because the I.O. to output that number becomes way much slower. So this one took <coughs> almost one second and 0.5. It it. Yeah, because the number is quite huge, as you can see. But I got no problem with um, calculating that number. Okay. 
things. Well, that was pretty much everything. It was quite small uh, example. You can use this uh, technique to uh, try to solve many, many problems, such as factorial, uh, Fibonacci. Give us the real-world example. What? Yeah, the real-world real world recursion. Real-world? Real world. Ah, real-world recursion. Uh, I don't know. In your Basically. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> you can't find, I, right now I can't find any real-world recursion where you can use this. Basically, when you try to, um, I don't know, say, uh, try to make, to calculate the sum of the entire vector, you can just reduce it to one simple value. As long as uh, you can uh, use an accumulator to um, add different values there, you can use this type of recursion. Questions?